How to read timetables. Have you ever travelled with your parents using public transport and wondered how they knew the train, bus, ferry or tram was coming? They knew this because they read the timetable. All public transport has timetables which are accessible to everyone at your local bus stops, train stations, ferry terminals or tram stops. You can also access timetables on the internet or download Transit Times app on your mobile phone or any tablet device. Public transport timetables include the route schedule, which means the times when the trains, bus, ferry or trams are scheduled to arrive. Timetables also include the route description, which is the stops the train, bus, ferry or tram will make. Timetables also include a route map, so you know where you are heading to by looking at the map. Here is an example of what a route schedule, route description and route map looks like online. Across the top there are a number of options for you to choose from when you catch the next train. The next thing you'll notice is the route description. This tells you the platform number the train will arrive on, the time the train departs the station and travel time it takes you to arrive at your destination. The route map shows you the start and the end of your journey. You can zoom in and out of this map. This is another example of a timetable. This is a printed timetable found at your local train stations or a PDF version which can be found online. This timetable shows you all the stations the train will stop at and the times the train comes. Let's have a closer look at the train timetable. All timetables are similar. This timetable is telling us that we are heading outbound so we are leaving Brisbane City to our destination. What you will notice about this timetable is that we are scheduled times are in the rows, which tells us the train will arrive at each of these destinations. You can see the destination on the far left hand side. So if I want to catch the 6.29am train which leaves Brisbane Central, I can then see by looking at the row underneath that the train will arrive at the next stop at 6.32am which is at Roma Street Station. Remember to look at the far left hand side to see the names of the stations. If I miss the train leaving Brisbane Central at 6.29am, I can always get the next train which arrives at 6.59am. In order to see when the next train arrives, you need to look at the next column, which is on the right hand side. This timetable is an Airport City to Varsity Lakes timetable. I can see that the train that I want to catch arrives at Brisbane Central at 6.29am, the next stop is at Roma Street Station at 6.32am, and will arrive at Varsity Lakes at 7.52am. The other important thing that you will notice on this timetable is that there are dashes or blank spaces. This means that the train does not run to these stations. Wherever you see a time, then you know the train will run to that particular station. One of the most important things to look at when you are reading a timetable is to look at where you are going to. If you want to head into Brisbane City from your home, then you must look at the inbound timetable as that is taking you to your destination. If you want to leave Brisbane City then you are looking at the outbound timetable as that is taking you from that destination. Buses, ferries and trams all have similar timetables to trains. Let's look at the last timetable for the day, a bus timetable. A bus timetable indicates time points when the bus is scheduled to arrive at designated stops. Just like trains, buses have a timetable that has destinations listed where the bus will stop at and a map so you can see where the bus is heading to. It is really important when you are looking at timetables you look at the correct day of the week. Whether you want to use public transport on a weekday, weekend or a public holiday, all timetables will be different for different days of the week. I hope this presentation has helped you to understand how to read and interpret timetables. Thank you for watching. Created using Powtoon.